Today, we're gonna be trying out the good old chicken livers. We're gonna get our camera rigged up like we did last time. Water clarity looks about the same. Let's get some bait on, let's see what they like. Okay, get our trusty go fish cam on. There we go. Start with this guy. Hook it once, twice. All right, that'll do it. Whew. I always get nervous first cast on this thing. Not very far. All right, it did not take long to get someone interested here, as you guys can see. Already seen some similarities in the chicken liver, definitely to the uh, the jello chicken, attracting all kinds of bait fish. Literally minutes. <laughs> wow, guys. Not very big, definitely not, but got him. First fish of the day on the go fish cam. Little guy. Little, little guy. Yes, sir. There we go. Literally took like two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Let's uh, let's toss him back in. Hopefully the camera did its job down there. Ooh, let that guy go. A little slow, but it's okay. Not take long at all there, guys. Well, let's get some more bait and do it again. That was literally like two minutes, guys. And let's send her again. We were not too far out with that. So we'll do the same thing. Here we had a piece of the bait stuck on the camera, unfortunately, and I just got pulled off by something there. I think this was an eel here. I'm pretty sure that was an eel that came flying down. Something's messing with it down there, guys. Oh, slacked it. I think he's on there. Maybe not. That was a weird cast. I think we lost our bait, though. Ah, uh, that does happen from time to time. Okay. There we go, a nice juicy ball of liver. I think that one was good. Pretty sure. In this clip, you can definitely see a lot of things moving off camera, dirt being kicked up. Still got some huge carp around. You see that little channel cat come in there was not interested. Here the camera moves and I did not move it. I'm not sure how that happened there.
Come on, baby. Swimming towards me, I think. Oh, he was way to the side. He was way to the side. Wonder what happened with that. We got him. Number two, baby, on the liver. Yes, sir. Yes, guys. Yes. All right. Well, there we go. There is number two of the day. He's definitely hungry today. He stinks, man. Let's get him back. Get out of here. Thanks for the content, guy. Well, guys, let's do it again. We're on a pretty decent bite here so far. Here, this channel cat is very finicky. Comes up, tastes it a few times. He just does not want anything to do with it. This guy comes bolting out of nowhere. Here, he's actually swimming with the bait and my line was slack. I had a slack line this whole time. Slack line, slack line, slack line. Still slack. Oh, we had him. We had him, but not anymore. Looks like we got some peckers down there, maybe. I'm gonna redunk it and then send it back because we still got a decent amount on there. Okay, we can get that fish this time. A lot of slack bites today. This fish comes up does not does not like what he tastes there. This guy, on the other hand, I believe, was a different fish, uh, came up. Swimming towards me. Swimming towards me. Pretty good take down there. Little, little guy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, we're after anything, even the small ones. Look how jacked up his lips are. These fish really aren't too healthy in this section of river. Some of them are, but some of them look like that. So, let them go. And of course, gotta have the little baby. I'm really curious to how many times this has happened to me or any other angler on the water. Just getting pecked to smithereens and you have no idea.
All right, this is the longest I've been without a bite. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Um, so we're gonna reel up the rod. The reason I'm doing it in 10 minute increments is I don't want to waste any more battery down there without losing my bait. As you saw last video, it's very easy to lose your bait instantaneously and I don't want to be down there wasting time, so. We were tangled and we're fishing on credit. Perfect, I think that one was good. Here we have our little Gobi friend paying us a visit. Another channel cat, not interested. We got this blue looks like that comes overhead, scares everything. Finally get one to take a little bite out of it. He still didn't even like it that much. This guy must have been hungry, just comes up real quick and grabs it. We got him. Over here messing around with my ultralight rod. Not the same size. That's okay. We will take whatever we can. There we go. Loving the liver. Let's get some more liver. That was like a longer wait for the fish that time. I wonder why. Nice big piece of liver. This guy, once again, guys, lots of hesitation. Seems to smell it, is not interested. Gobi pops his head in here. This guy actually grabbed it and got the bait off the hook. So my bait is attached only by my magic thread at this point. I still have no idea. That's gonna conclude our second part to our new video series. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I got some good footage down there. I'm uh, really excited to get home and review it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.